What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now I know this is a highly anticipated build for all of you conflict players out there, so I am happy to put this together for you guys because I've ran into them too, and apparently they're a lot worse in EU servers than they are in US servers, so I'm happy for that, but they are starting to creep into the US servers as well. And I'm talking about the mortar builds. More importantly, the mortar builds that also shoot you with sticky bombs. The worst. You'll, you'll get the mortar builds that are just straight damage. You'll get the explosive damage mortar builds. You'll get the status effect mortar builds. Anyways, um, long story short, this is going to be my anti-mortar build this will stop you from dying from those mortars I promise you uh, the gameplay I'm about to show you is going to be with me I am Fox and some of the DOD members in the dark zone and I had all of them put on seeker mind or uh, sticky bombs mortar turrets seeker mines stinger hives i had them throw everything at me just to see what it took for me to die for, uh, using this build and the best part about it is i'm only using three blues and three reds so just remember that when you watch this uh this pvp test gameplay but all right, shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom, and I am Fox. Sit back, relax, grab your popcorn, and I hope you guys enjoy all of my PvP testing for this build. And then we'll be right back for the build breakdown. But all right, here we go. Peace. And then Redbeard. Redbeard is gonna shoot me with a sticky bomb. And then we have Fox. Glass cannon mortar with sticky bum. Or shrapnel drop if you prefer. Ooh, and you're running a sticky. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jesus. I can change it to shrapnel if you want to test that as well. Um, it, it really doesn't matter. It's up to you guys. Um, so we're right at a checkpoint. Where's a good spot for us to. Let's see. So I would say uh, probably up on the stairs over here because there's no NPCs up that way. Okay. I mean, we'll be close to the door, but that should be okay. Still a manhunt going on, so that'll take, take the heat off of us, I think. Yeah. Just to catch everyone up to speed, this is testing out this build right now. Which has 77 plus explosive resistance, hazard protection, blah, 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 blah. All right. Let's test it out. I'm still going to nick you. I know. I'm okay with that. Oh, that was a lot less damage. That was a sticky bomb. That was a mortar. That was a bomb mortar. mortar. Dude, that's good. That's another mortar. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, keep them coming. I'm gonna try Shoot whatever you want. Explosive there we go. What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 build video. Now first we have to test it out just so you guys know the overall meaning of this build. So uh, what I'm doing here is I'm going to have Redbeard and Caesar from the DoD clan. And they are going to shoot a F ton of skills at me. And we're going to see what it does. Um, we are in the invaded dark zone. And uh, yeah. So after we see what all damage they get from, you know, whatever, we will check out the build. Um, but just for reference, let's see what Caesar and Redbeard are running. So Caesar is running a mortar turret and sticky bomb 
with Eclipse, File, and the whole shebang. Okay. Redbeard is running a explosive seeker mine and sticky bomb as well with glass cannon and the Acosta go bag. But all right, so they're going to see what their skills do up against uh, my build. So here we go. You gotta hit me. Rogue artillery turret detected. Easy drop incoming. Rogue explosive seeker mine. Yeah, I, I'll back up a little for you. There you go. All right, so you see that's his mortar turret, and that at this rate it'd probably take him about six or seven mortars. And then with a booster, you can see it's barely taking anything down. So this is my anti-mortar build. This will get you out of all those mortar turrets. And sticky bombs. And apparently uh, explosive seekers. Um... Not so much shrapnel traps and stinger hives as much. I mean, if you're going against a whole crew of them, you might have a problem. But you can see if you're just running up against even just two skill builds, it won't really do that much to you. I mean, there's the stagger effect, but that's pretty much it. Oh, he staggered me out of using my skill. Oh, that's crazy. Vital signs critical. And then when you're sick of it, you do this, and then you do this, and that's it. Then you're back at it. And you can do some damage. Oh! Pick him up! <laughs> Pick him up! Rogue artillery turret detected. But you guys can get the uh, catch the drift here. Oh, he stuck me with that sticky too. All right. And let's uh. Let's check it out. Uh, Rogue, explosive yeah, just try to kill me here. <laughs> I'm trying, man. It's not working. There you Don't go. think I'm okay. gonna try to kill you. Serious trauma detected. Oh my gosh. They're on cooldown. You're kinda, I mean, I don't think the there skills it can is. kill you quick enough. There it is. Yay. All right. And there you have it. So that was a great demonstration of the anti-mortar build featuring Caesar and Redbeard of the DoD. Woo. All right. Let's go back to the checkpoint and uh, get to the build breakdown. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and you pretty much understand where I'm going with this. Unless you are going up against a crew of four that are all using mortar turrets and say, I don't know, like stinger hives, that's the only way you're going to die. Um, if you're running up against one, two, even three mortar turret builds, you're, you're good to go. Just use your jammer pulse, uh, go at them and burn them down. Because this build actually also has quite a bit of damage. So let's get into the build breakdown. So this is my anti-mortar build. This will save you against all of those mortar build players and 
all of those sticky bomb build players. So you could actually say this is an anti sticky bomb build as well. So let's get to the stats so you can understand what I'm saying. So currently I am at 77.3 explosive resistance. I believe the max is 80%. For the hazard protection, I'm at 78.5%. And then for bleed, 98.3. Burn, 98.5. And in snare, I am at 87.8. So burn bleed, it's not a problem. Explosive resistance, barely. And then for the, um, for the, what is it? The riot foam, uh, you're at 80, just about 88%. So it kind of helps you up against those uh, riot foam builds as well. Uh, the cool part about this is I tried to stick with the adrenaline rush, intimidate uh, lady death. So I made sure to check all those off the box. That way I'm still doing quite a bit of damage. Um, I am basically um, unstoppable against sticky bomb builds because for one, they have to hit you, which is a task in itself. And for two, they have to hit you far enough to where you can't shoot them. And the best part about this build is you're rushing them you're able to jam your uh, jam their skills, get the amplified damage, and if you know they're about to throw something at you, put down the booster hive, and the booster hive gives you another 21.9% uh, hazard protection. Like, come on, that's ridiculous. And then you're immune to everything and you don't have to worry about it, you're good to go. So, starting off with the specialization. I'm using the Demolitionist Specialization. Uh, reason being is it helps me with the incoming explosives and it also gives me the burn duration that I need for the build. Um, that and using the Demolitionist Specialization in Conflict is actually pretty fun. I enjoy it. Now we also tested this build out in Coney Island for the mortars there on Heroic and they would take away my armor but not kill me and i would actually stand in the middle of that if you guys want to see that gameplay i'll leave it at the end and then also i went to capital building um i did that on i believe it was legendary something like that and uh no it was heroic because it couldn't be uh white tusk and they were shooting mortars and they would only do about two thirds um, of my armor away and I'm only using 1.3 million armor so you can see that even if you went with all blues you would basically be unstoppable to anybody but for me personally I wanted to use the red core attributes just so that I had more damage and not only was I you know able to take the seek, uh, sticky bomb seeker mines mortar turrets um, I'm able to take all that damage and then I'm still able to deal a lot of damage. So yeah, going to the weapons. I'm using the Lady Death just because, uh, why not? This is an anti-mortar, anti-sticky bomb build, so, you know, I don't care. Um, if you guys don't want to use the Lady Death, uh, I would recommend using, I don't know, Scorpio, Pestilence, Eagle Bear, the Banshee, Citar, FAMAS, G36. I mean, the list goes on and on. There, there's a lot of great weapons out there. But we all know that the Lady Death comes with the amplified damage, and that is King that does the damage that gets the job done. Not only that, but after you get your kill, you get 20% movement speed, and that really does help you out in certain firefights. Now for my secondary, I'm just using a military P416. This one with max AR damage and damage to targets out of cover with the talent Optimist. So the less ammo in my magazine, the more weapon damage I get overall. And then for my sidearm, I'm just using a double barrel sawed off. 1.1 million total damage with close and personal. Um, let's see. So starting off with the mask. 
I'm using the Y'all Gear Mask. Brain set bonus I get from this build, 10% hazard protection. This one is God rolled, so I have max armor, max explosive resistance, and max hazard protection. I went ahead and threw a bleed resistance mod on there at 10%. Going to the backpack, Richter and Kaiser backpack. What I get out of the Richter and Kaiser brand set bonuses, 20% incoming repairs and 10% explosive resistance. This one comes with adrenaline rush, so it gives me that bonus armor that I need just for sustainability. And it also helps proc the intimidate chest piece talent that gives me more amplified damage. Now for this backpack, max armor, max explosive resistance with armor region, and then I threw in snare resistance on there, uh, basically to get out of those, you know, riot foam uh, people. Cause there, there's actually quite a bit of riot foam runners out there. Now the gloves, Seska. Reason I'm using the Seska is because you run um, two of them for hazard protection. So. I get the crit chance and the hazard protection from the brand set bonus. Now as far as the attributes, max weapon damage, max explosive resistance, and hazard protection at 9.5. You want to try to get hazard and explosive resistance on every piece of gear. That way you get you know the same percentages because not only do you want to be resistant to the explosion, but you also want to be resistant to the status effect as well. Now, going to the knee pads, Richter and Kaiser as well. These ones, God rolled with max armor, max explosive resistance, and max hazard protection. Going to the holster, Seska holster with weapon damage, which is low, but obviously I'll optimize it in a couple weeks when 12.1 comes out. Actually, that comes out next week. Yeah, buddy. And um, it also has max explosive resistance and 9.3 hazard protection. The funny part is, is you don't even notice that this isn't max weapon damage because you're using the Lady Death and Intimidate. And then finally, the chest piece, Sokolov Concern chess piece. I'm using this for the SMG damage to go with my amplified damage. And it also does come with Intimidate, which is 35% amplified damage in pvp and pve now for the attributes 14.1 weapon damage 9.7 hazard protection and 7.3 explosive resistance i'll obviously get those numbers up once the optimization station has been fixed and then for the mod 9.8 percent bleed resistance and there you have it. This is the anti-sticky bomb, anti-mortar turret, anti-seeker mine. I mean, you, you name it. Unless you're going up a crew of four all using the exact same skill, which I doubt will ever happen, um, you're good to go. I've shown that this works up against four mur mortar turrets. And the only way that they got me down was they had to throw grenades, stickies, and mortars at the same time to get me to stagger enough and uh, that's what got me down so yeah i'm going to show you guys a little bit more gameplay at the end of this i hope you've enjoyed it um, whenever you see somebody on the other team whip out a artillery turret known as the mortar turret go ahead and whip this build out and you will be good to go you can jam all of their skills put down the booster hive to be completely immune to all status effects and then use the intimidate with lady death to mow them down you still have three red core attributes so you do have a lot of damage just use it but all right finish up with the stats and we'll get out of here so for the lady death 78.9k weapon damage 26.2k pvp weapon damage 51 crit chance, 50 crit damage, 70 headshot damage, and 6 armor damage. Go down to the offensive tab. 50.7 all weapon damage bonus with 40% SMG damage bonus. So every time I use the Lady Death, I get 90.7 all weapon da or damage bonus total. Now as far as the gear talents, 
Adrenaline Rush with Intimidate, like always. Defensive tab, I'm right at 1.3 million armor with a little bit armor regen, 330k health. And then of course, 77.3% explosive resistance, 78.5% hazard protection with 98.3 bleed, 98.5 burn, and 87.8 .8 ensnare resistance. And there you have it. Put that up with your jammer pulse and your booster hive, and you are good to go. I am Kamikaze Von Doom. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comment section below what you think, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace. Alright, so I'll sit here. Stay stationary, that's what I was told. There we go. It took away my armor. But I, I got the entire, let's try it again, I got the entire blast, so it's pretty cool. Come on, mortars. Come on. Up here we go, right in front of me. Oh, I didn't get there in time. System curtailed. System restored. Gonna have to like Things play like. Up together. I don't know. Not they're random or the target. I don't know if they're random either. Leave. Oh, here we go. Here we go. There we go. Oof. So it takes away my damage, my armor. See what it does to me. Yeah, we don't want to kill all of the, uh, whew. we don't want to kill all right of yeah. the same thing for me. Did it even hit you? Oh, here we go. Oh, that NPC shooting me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> but that's not bad though, One, 1.3. How much armor do you have, Caesar? How much? No, no, no armor core, 726. So, here, here we go. And it, it just did the same thing with me at half armor, so I think they're just programmed to almost kill you. An agent needs assistance. Agent Let's five, see, it says zero. it did 1.3, and then the assault NPC did 500k.